clam garden really is just a, a clam bed or a, a section of a beach that you, you tend like you would your garden at home. And tending that garden is definitely a labor of love. NOAA has a broad portfolio of supporting the sustainable growth of aquaculture. Here in the Pacific Northwest, shellfish aquaculture is a really prominent industry. We're also supporting indigenous communities that have an interest in entering or re-entering the aquaculture sector. Clam gardens are a very unique way to grow shellfish. A clam garden is an ancient practice that was passed down through generations and generations from my ancestors. It is basically a rock wall that is built on the intertidal zone at the lowest tide point that changes the shape of the beach and makes it optimal for clam habitat, but it also increases the biodiversity of the area. It allows the clams to grow larger and for there to be more of them. This is really a unique opportunity to use a technology that's been around for a long time to work with a tribal community and take it as a case study for what other tribes can consider going forward. It's really vital that when you're tending to the garden that there's nothing that doesn't have a purpose. You know, the seaweed acts as fertilizer to help produce the berries. Every person also has a purpose, whether that's tending to the garden or telling stories or preparing food to feed the people that are working. And so I think that's what's the most special for us about the project, that it really brings all the people together and everybody has a purpose. I just think of my future children, my future grandchildren, my future great-grandchildren, and I hope that one day they'll be doing the same exact thing that I'm doing and it'll be thriving by then. It's really special that we're able to continue this practice and for it to still be the same work as our ancestors, even in this modern time when we're facing the climate crisis. Clam gardens provide a unique gradient of environments from the rock wall back towards the beach. Each of those environments provide different types of substrate for invertebrates, algae, and shellfish. And that type of environmental diversity is important in the face of changing climate. We can look at the clam gardens as one piece of a playbook that our ancestors left us to be resilient through climate change, through sea level rise, through ocean acidification. And that's what we need to remember not just as indigenous communities. Humans have to remember that we don't get to just command our environment. We have to be a part of it. We have to be a piece of the ecosystem. And in turn, we can't just take all the time. We have to be good stewards. So the clam garden is definitely a piece of the puzzle. Our biologist had pinpointed a few locations that were ideal for a clam garden. And then the Swinomish community was given a survey to pick the location that they wanted. And they also got to pick the focus of, of what that garden would be used for. And overwhelmingly, it was voted that this garden be only used for teaching and ceremonial or subsistence harvest. There would be no commercial harvest. The intent is just to protect it for future generations. That's my favorite part about this work. We're not doing it for the money, we're doing it for the love of the people and the love of the land and the love of the sea and the love of the clams and all the things that it supports inside of that clam garden. The clams that we harvest from this clam garden will be used for the families in our community. There's nothing more powerful than when you're able to feed your people with what you harvest. It's really spiritually uplifting and it's more than just nourishing your, your human body, right? It's, it's taking care of the spirit also.